7, 2018, regular session. Everybody knows, please shut off your silence, your cell phones, and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So it's just two of us? Yes. So, um, just a quick little bit of local history. The Pledge of Allegiance for this Board of Commissioners started with Commissioner Shown, Kester, and myself. I take a lot of pride in that we reestablished that as a governing board. As uh, I'm reflecting on that, as we have Commissioner Race get over last night, and we will have new ones coming on. There's many things that we've done as a board that that is, seems fairly minor, but it's very big. The other thing I wanted to mention with Commissioner Shown sitting here is our signs coming into Lake County where we honor our veterans, thank our veterans. Climate County says we honor our vet veterans. We say thank you veterans. Um, that was done with this board of commissioners. So. I'm not saying goodbye to you, I'm just having a moment reflecting on a couple of little things. Uh, we have a few meetings left, Commissioner, but uh, those are minor things that are huge in the heart mm -hmm. that we've done. So thank you. Thank you. So with that said, I'm not giving Dan a chance to talk because I'll cry like a baby. Um, uh, so uh, we have a deletion, the residential disposal fee form was by consensus agreed upon yesterday. Uh, any other deletions or additions? Um, yes, I have two Where? sets of minutes that we need to hold off on for the next meeting. They need to continue for the correct form mm -hmm. or form. Please. So with that said, and I think I know why, uh, because of needing people here, mm -hmm. we may need to just double check with legal counsel because I would guess there's an off chance that they could go into the first of the new year without approval. And I'm I'm okay even though I wasn't present for those of approval if it's moved by someone who was. I don't know legally we can do that. But you know, I'm trying to remember back. There is some guidelines around that commissioner that they, even if you didn't attend, they can be approved, I believe. I hate to say that without getting a double check with legal. Yeah, and I think we've got more than enough time to do that. Yeah. Just as a thought, we may be able to, and may need to do that. Yeah, the, the, during the transition time, I think that's a very good possibility. Okay, um, so that was the 10 16 and the 10 10 29 session session. Okay. For oh. oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, no other changes. Public comment. Uh, I'm not public, but for the other changes, you know, we've talked about this before, and I, I don't know if this is the appropriate place, Commissioner, but I don't think the public is going to come in and they don't have the right head. Uh, the pardon head here. Uh, relative for the new board, I'm not trying to suggest anything, but I think this board, as we, we've said before, there's some decisions that are appropriate for the new board to make and there's decisions that we should continue to make right up until the last day of December. With that said, as it relates to our meetings, I think we'd all agree they've kind of gotten out of uh, normal processes for adding on things. And I would love to see us set the tone for you as a new board to not have to deal with that, for Melody not have to deal with it. We give, she gives plenty of advance notice on these things, and we've gotten away from true emergencies that were unforeseen and they're last minute and they need to be dealt with then in that meeting that's coming up that day or the day before to, it's just a standard practice. <clears throat> and I'd love to, to see a, a letter of reminder go out to uh, all of our folks that simply says, Something to the effect of, <clears throat> if you don't get on by this time, 
will carry anything we bring forward unless it is a true emergency in by whatever means uh, to the next regular meeting. I, I concur with a lot of discussion probably. We, we set that policy and we're the ones that can make our employees, department heads, staff adhere to that and we have got quite lax as commissioners and as department heads and as all other elected officials. I think that's that needs to um, bring that policy back up and it be sent out by the Board of Commissioners, yep. not by the administrative assistant. It, it's, yep. We're supporting our own policy. We want to shore this up, especially because it's the right thing. And um, I've been guilty myself of bringing things at the last minute. And, we well, all have ample time to do the right thing and follow the policy, so I, I concur with you. Okay. And I think you, you hit the nail on the head. We have all done that. Correct. And I think the reason that it's so paramount that we, it, to some people, it seems like so, you know, fine. But for new commissioners, quite honestly, they're going to be overwhelmed enough. And the way that we do it with getting the agendas out and the documents in and knowing it does a great job of getting the material to us, unlike sitting commissioners who have been here, not that we're great shakes, but for a number of years, most of these things don't catch us off guard, even if we don't get to review them. For a new board, bringing something in the morning that they're meeting that's a huge deal <laughs> is not fair. That, absolutely, and um, there's a lot of reading prep and, yep. and pre preparation. Yep. And yes. and having that ahead of time for the department head that's going to be dealing with the changing of a board um, to not have to sit in a meeting and double, triple explain that mm -hmm. whenever it could be reviewed ahead of time. Those questions can be asked of that department head before the meeting. Bingo. Um, Bingo. Yeah. That's that's and we, and as I said, Dave, you hit it clearly on the head. We all have a role in this. I think it can be a very friendly reminder okay. to a great group of folks in, in the county government that so, we need to do this. So now let me pull up our policy after our meeting today and um, and the guidelines and all that and then I, I will need your help techie wise of how to send that out and it should be the board of commissioners but it could be as a chairman of the board also. Yeah, I think that's so, Thank you for indulging me. Absolutely. Yeah, was that an add-on? No. <laughs> Look, Garrett's almost fine. <laughs> okay. The public comment is over. <laughs> Truly over. Um, Peter Brewer's over. Uh, the first one is done. Amendment number three to the airport. Thank you, Commissioner. I, my mind is not working for well at the moment. I was into uh, something I heard somebody say just before I came in. <laughs> <Berman. laughs> Mr. Berman, sir. Airport apron, uh, we went over this yesterday. I don't believe. Um, it's just a milestone of just everything in the, uh, the key milestones of each description. and of the project we just kind of had to adjust them like i said the completion date is still on for the completion date it's just the other in between there is our milestones and just change beams some of the things we had to go with the faa and on some of the scheduling of the project so we had to change that with the agreement with ODOT for the connect oregon fund program 2016. so you're recommending today that we approve them yes and just right it. just approve it yes Everything still legit. It's just Pretty good. just in between the completion date and the start date's kind of moved around. Well, thanks for all of your work on this and dealing with all the people we have to deal with to make it happen. It's a great project. So I'm going to make that motion that we approve amendment number three, Grand Agreement Connect Oregon Funding Program 2016, as presented. Uh, I'll take the motion. The uh, motion was to amend. Uh, Number 03, Grant Agreement, Connect Oregon Funds Program with the Lake County Airport uh, apron and beacon rehab safety upgrades. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item, 
Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. And you're more than welcome to set through the rest of the meeting if you would like. Uh, I've got things going on. Yeah. Um, up, up fitting pickup award. This we had quite a bit of discussion yesterday. So, Melody, this um, this quote followed all of the guidelines to be able to award this as far as uh, with basically a, this is almost. No, it was this wasn't the only quote. This was went out for different quotes. This was the lowest of the quotes, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And I don't mean to talk to you, I'm talk for you. I just I'm trying to make sure our process. Yep, is I follow the process. Um, I sent out two bids. We received one. I received a bid after the fact, after the closing date, which negated it. Um, however, it was still more than this one. So, I feel good about it. Okay. And so this quote is for the two vehicles no. that we have. Um, this is for the one that's coming in anytime. Okay. So this is just for one vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other one you guys approved at the last combined work regular session. Okay. So we're just doing one. Yep, because this one should be here soon, and then they're going to send them both off at the same time. And I need to get get this going so they can get the appropriate things order for this vehicle and make so, sure they're not wasting their time. So, I'm sure the Commissioner Sham probably has something to say. Over the years, our efficiencies, one of the things was is vehicles being delivered to a certain place for being outfitted or the cost of having taken there ourselves mm -hmm. and everything. As we move forward, and it's probably the next item where I should talk about this, we need you as a fleet manager to look at all those efficiencies with the department so that we're not paying extra for them to be traveling because that really does change when we're looking at the quotes as commissioners. If we got a quote that this one comes in, $500 cheaper, but it's going to cost us $1,100 to get it up to back. Mm -hmm. It's truly not the lowest quote, or else we put out the quotes that they will be delivered to this place and then they will be fully outfitted and they'll be delivered to Lakeview, so it's all encompassing. However, um, these are discussions that you weren't in, but with our last fleet manager, we really looked at the efficiencies, mm -hmm. and the efficiencies was the cost of having to get them here to there, or mm -hmm. the, the quote bids slash whatever you want to call it, was very specific. This is where it will be, this is where it will be delivered, and then it's all on equal. Keeps us in line, keeps us efficient, keeps our auditors mm -hmm. where we're supposed to be. Yeah, I, I totally concur with that, and, and I would just use the term fairness for those who are providing us with quotes. Yes, um, I, I agree completely. Yeah. Um, initially, we did look into having it delivered to Salem, um, but we decided after the fact that we needed to get the bumpers on there so they could get the lights on the bumpers. So I need to look into that. Yeah, in and the as time goes on, that's going to be yeah. more doable because you know now all the components that go with mixing all this stuff up. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, and, and I will just elaborate on that a little bit. When we do the bumpers with less swabs, if they do it in the Les Schwab's at Salem, they can still charge it to this store, store yeah. here. Yeah. And so that would eliminate that mm -hmm. that travel cost. So you will look into yeah. it. Yeah. But just just for your information, that's the way this board has always been is we look at the efficiencies that come back to the taxpayers over mm -hmm. a long period of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fairness question. No. Tony, anyways, I digress. I went sideways. I should have probably done that on the next item. Well, no, I, I agree, and I think we can get creative and make the cost as efficient as possible. Yep. Yep. So I would entertain a motion. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the uplifting pickup with Lear as presented for financial impact of $26,190. I'll second the motion. The motion has been made and seconded to accept the uh, uplifting as presented at 26190 
further discussion. Um, so, Melanie, is this taken off the amount that uh, under sheriffs agreed to pay for on the out of the other fund? No, this is the full amount. Um, we've talked about that, but nothing's been approved for that yet. So, okay. it could be less. I hope. So, well, he doesn't have enough money in his account as it is right now in that fund to pay for all of these. So, that's something that we're going to need to address. So if we approve this, it's fully approving this out of your budget. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not taking off the four thousand dollars that he said he would pay. Correct. We'll need to do a resolution at a later date for the transfer. That may have a huge impact on the, the discussion that we go past here and whether we buy other vehicles or not. Just yeah. to be straightforward. I'm sorry that I didn't catch that before this. I thought, and I, I thought that was agreed upon by the sheriff and by the under sheriff, and that that cost would come off of the outfitting. It was agreed upon verbally, but we've never taken formal action. We haven't done a resolution or for the transfer. Um, don't we have to? Isn't that what we have to do? No, go through that again with me. I, okay. I apologize. So, what I understand is that they will transfer funds from their radio fund, which they don't have enough money in that line item right now as it sits. So they'll have to do a resolution to get and change some materials and services around um, to that line item for the radio in their radio fund to transfer to my fund for the outfit. Is what I understand. Well, I, and I'm not the treasurer, but <clears throat> I don't think we have to transfer from that fund we don't. to I think your fund. I think it can just be built against that. Okay. Well, the resolution I believe Melanie's talking about is it will have to come out of their capital side of that fund, so mm -hmm. um, yeah. there will have to be a resolution for that fund. Yeah. So that part, but yeah. not a transfer from their... Yeah. No. Okay. So, so that would be part of this, is ensuring so yes, I, I I'm looking through here from line item to line item. Do you know which is that cost? Because I may rescind my second and ask for another uh, because of I I think what we decide today needs to reflect that that cost will come from another department and we need to identify that in this here. Okay. So you, you want us to pull back the, the possible motion and do a little more work and then bring it back before the board? No. Board? No. <clears throat> the only way <clears throat> to, I have to talk about the next, the purchase to be able to get there. The only way, budget-wise, that we're able to consider two sheriff's vehicles is with the assumption and the adding of the sale of the two cargo van or trailers, the two vehicles, and the transfer of dollars out of what I'll call the Mount Top Fund or whatever they call and sheriff managed. That that was the discussion in the vehicle committee meeting. But they said this is the way that we can get there. We would like you to support by two sheriff's people. And we supported it with all that. But this motion doesn't reflect that. It reflects that we're paying that full upfitting cost. So why don't we take this motion off the table and have because you know it inside and out being part of the vehicle committee and you make the motion with all those well um, items there. I'm Sorry, Commissioner, but I don't know exactly on these this sheet here what all they are that that would pay for. I'm drawing on five. Well, I, I think just the uplifting the four thousand would be paid out of that fund. Mm -hmm. Once well, a resolution is in the may may have been more than that. It might have been closer to five, it might have been I can't remember. So I felt it was fair to um, 
to do 2500 out of the radio fund for each vehicle, we would still break even and have money that way. But then that pays for the repeater um, thing, this equipment. So, I'm sorry. The, that fund isn't yours. Right. It is managed by the sheriff. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that made the offer. I appreciate you being conservative trying to look out for that fund. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that made the offer. They're the one that has to live within their budget. Can we sort this out because we're going to adjourn, we're going to recess sometime this morning to this afternoon and bring this item back? I, I think afternoon. both of these we need to, I need to be more comfortable in okay. it, and, and because of, I should have caught this whenever I made my spill of what was offered from the Sheriff's Department okay. for us mm -hmm. for the next item, but I would like to take the both of these until this afternoon. Um, yep. So that Melanie and I can work um, to find out what those numbers are. We can work with um, the sheriff and Paul and with our budget officer to try to find that. Now, I'm sorry, Melanie. I, I thought that <coughs> it reflected that that money had been taken off of there. Mm -hmm. And my mistake. No, I. I'm still learning. I don't know if it's anyone's mistake. It was just a miscommunication. It, and it might, might be as simple as we might be told is, is we'll just transfer that money into <coughs> this fund mm -hmm. at a later date. It might be that simple by our budget officer. But I, yeah. I, I do believe our motion and our acceptance need to reflect what it really is going to be. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's perfect. So, yeah, so, yeah. I, and I may be just be laboring things, but I would, so we'll rescind the motion in the second uh, for it to be brought back. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so that means that the vehicle purchase is also table. Mm -hmm. um, computer purchase, we have that before us, and that was, Because yesterday, I'm fully comfortable with it. Once again, I will say, unless somebody needs an overview, uh, Melanie, you've done an excellent job of being exactly what we just talked about, efficient. Yep. And all those things. Yep. So, would you entertain a motion? I will make a motion that we approve the computer purchases as presented very clearly yesterday by Melanie. I will second the motion. Motion's been a, uh, seconded to approve the PC purchases as presented. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Something, Mr. Chair, that we, well, I know we've got scales up there, but mm -hmm. Melanie and Bob, we didn't take right. action. Right. So. We didn't take action yesterday, so I have. Wait, and I didn't put that on the agenda today. Uh, we have the Bob action and the scales. Mm -hmm. I had the skills. Did we get any more information on BOPTA? Because I wasn't fully clear yesterday of what the desire from the clerk is. Um, I can try to speak on her behalf from the conversation I had with her, if you prefer. Um, so, she would like someone to have a good transfer with the liaisons. Training starts in two weeks, I think, and she was hesitant to put a new commissioner on there that might not be able to go to the training. So she thought it would be best to have Ken do it again, who was very gracious and so, stepped up to the plate. I know it's not his favorite thing to do, but... So, what I got yesterday was Ken was willing to sit on as a public. Because right. this will go on after mm -hmm. his term is done. Mm -hmm. um, through our liaisons and everything, we have somebody that's supposed to be on the walk to board. But I, that I want to be respectful of the, the clerk's one. office that makes that recommendation. Yeah. Um, and I would simply say, just to add to that, given the discussion and both in the meeting and afterwards, I would recommend we approve minus Kathy Miles, who they asked us to scratch off, 
the two recommendations at this point in time, and the Board of Commissioners will determine who will be the future liaison after January and see how that works for the train or anything else. You know, um, the, the only caveat is that one part of that training part, um, uh, an option would be uh, because of, we have some control, and that is, is that Mr. Albertson is willing to sit on the walk to board, um, or that he's a county employee in his department that has allowed him to be able to go to different things. I think he would build with the train. So that, that's an option, but he's not sitting here for it. We could ask if he'd be willing to sit in that position. Yeah, and I would want to suggest that he and I chatted a little bit, but I think even with that, uh, our clerk would still want the other two appointed because she has an for three. Yep. And she so, so, so let's do exactly what he said. Let's go with the recommendation. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve uh, Stacy Ganey County Clerk's recommendation to appoint uh, for this next year on the Bob Board Tim Kessner and Ian Walls. I'll second the motion. Motion's been made and seconded to accept the clerk's uh, proposed appointment of Ian Walls and Kim Kessner to the Bob Board. Any further discussion? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, next item is the skills. Had a presentation yesterday from our road official. And uh, the quote, uh, the lowest quote came out from uh, Fairbank Skills at $40,524.77. And I misspoke. This came from our landfill manager, which is second job is our landfill manager in general, but this general fund on the road department item. Mm -hmm. Just for the record. Yep. So. I'll make a motion we approve said scale purchase from uh, Fairbank Scale Company uh, is down forty thousand five twenty four and seventy seven cents. I'll second the motion. The motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So, we have minutes. 9-4 of 18. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and second. Approved minutes as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, anything else before we recess? Um, the only thing I have is, um, is legal counsel available by phone or anything today? It should be. He's been, he and I have been texting this morning early. Um, you know, we haven't had any legal updates or anything, so. Maybe I would propose that Melanie reach out to him and ask if we have legal updates, and if so, would he be available? Like at two o'clock. I don't know what time Peter's going to get through, but yeah. just find out if there's afternoon. any updates or anything, yeah. and then we'll, we'll go from there. We got to do that. So we'll recess at ten twenty-eight and come back in at one o'clock. Thank you. Mm -hmm.